Flux AI tutorial. Hey guys, they shine and welcome to this Flux AI tutorial. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step Flux AI tutorial where I'll show you all the three models of Flux AI, which is the Snell, the Dev, and the Pro. With that being said, we all know that Flux Snell comes for free, whereas the Dev and the Pro you need to pay. But after watching this video till the end, if you don't skip any part of it, you will learn how you can use Flux Pro for absolutely free of cost and that also for unlimited usage. So if that sounds interesting to you, then Please stick on with me till the end of this Flux AI tutorial and Flux AI can produce some amazing results, be it some photorealistic image or be it text within image. It has a perfect text rendering as well. It can produce cyberpunk kind of images and even anime kind of images as well. You can just write simple prompts and get majestic outputs just like the ones that you can see on screen. So with that being said, I'm not going to waste your or mine time in discussing all that. Let's go into the action. Let's dive over to my laptop for a complete Flux AI tutorial. Hey, welcome to this Flux AI tutorial and as you can see the first of the interface that you can use for Flux is called huggingface.co slash black forest labs right now this gives you access to the dev model and the snail model now let's go ahead and actually check this out but later in this video i'll also reveal how you can use pro model for free as well so stick around till the end but let's start with the snail model so just click on over here now i'm going to enter the same prompt in different models of flux and test with you right so let's enter a simple prompt like i have given a prompt of a photorealistic girl right indian girl uh, beside the infinite pool in a bright and sunny day wearing a bikini and aged about 25 years so that's almost all the prompt right now let's go ahead and click on run and you can see over here this is how it looks but uh, this looks quite good but at the same time uh, you can tell that this is generated via AI right now with that being said it also has some advanced settings you can go over here and you can change this width and the height and the number of reference step the higher the number of reference step the better quality of image you can expect so now I have increased the number of steps so let's run it for another time and boom there you go so this time it has generated this one but as you can see the water behind is not quite real so uh, it is good but it isn't the best right so now let's go ahead and actually use the same prompt with flux dev right so let's go back and this time let's choose the dev model and in here let's enter the same prompt and this time on the advanced settings we can actually go ahead and have a guidance scale over here this is being added on the dev this actually means the lesser the value the more creative the AI would be the higher the value it would be more strict with the prompt right so I would give enough room for creativity and the number of steps let it be 28 so that's quite cool that being said let's go ahead and run this and boom there you can see so it has come up and this looks more a little more realistic right uh, still I think it lacks a little bit more details like the face texture and the kind of skin tone and all of that so for that the best model that you can have is the flux pro but unfortunately as you can see over here you can't use the flux pro over here right you can use the snail which is free and also the dev that is currently you can use it as well but if you want to use the highest model i'll share with you a hack over here you need to go to this website as you can see over here glyph.app right slash glyphs you just need to head over to this website over here and this actually allows you to use flux pro now for that we just need to sign in over here and you can just sign up using your google id right so that's absolutely free to do so and once this is done you would see this something like this right then you can just confirm your username and once done you would see this this screen now from here just click on build and this actually allows you to build your own app as you can see over here and you just need to come over to this plus click on that and in here we need to choose this image generator right so just click on that and once you do that you can see a nice little prompt opens up and right below over here you get the option you can use stable diffusion dull e or even flux pro so let's go ahead for flux pro and in here let's give the same prompt then again you can come over here and you can control the advanced control like the steps and the prompt power you can also change the image aspect ratio like what you want right and once you are done with it you can just come over here and click on run this glyph and you can just take a look at this this looks amazing right you can see detailing of the picture it's quite amazing stuff to have right now if we are not happy with this what we can do is that we can run this glyph again and this time it will produce something 
different so let's check out what this produces and just take a look at this this is amazing right the kind of detailing that it has including this pendant the background everything this is quite majestic right now i had to use the same prompt again on flux pro and you can see the details over here look at this the reflection in the water everything and the water looks so natural i mean this is closest to reality and hardly anybody can actually say this is created via ai so that's the kind of power that flux brings to your table now with that being said let us now generate a text in image feature that is if we want a text within an image let us see whether it renders it perfectly or not so i'm writing a modern robot writing on the blackboard with the chalk it says i'm a next gen robot with ai features right and now let's go ahead and run this glyph and just look at this a robot is writing on the blackboard and i am a next gen robot with ai features so it has perfect text rendering as you can see now if i go ahead and run this again it would produce another set of output as well so the opportunities are quite endless and with this you can create your logos especially this feature you can create your logos you can create your placards you can create whatever you want to where you want text with an image you can even go ahead and use it for your thumbnails and those kind of stuff as well and look at this this is more realistic because this robot seems to be writing right so that's quite amazing so that being said that's how easy it is to create images using flux pro and you can see the detailing of it is quite unparalleled right now let's go ahead and see whether it can produce any anime kind of image so i've given like an anime style image of a boy and a dog sitting in a garden i've given as simple prompt as it could be right so let's go ahead and run this clip and just take a look at this this is amazing amazing i must say the kind of quality it produces even take a look at these flowers they look really really natural right so that's quite amazing stuff to have now let's do the same in 3d pixar style and look at this i mean this is quite amazing majestic right so i have actually shown you everything right from photorealistic anime to 3d pixar style to text in image all of the stuff right and flux pro is really really mind-blowing so i would say it's closest to mid journey but for mid journey you need to pay hefty charges but for this you can actually use my technique to use it for absolutely free of course so i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial if you have help me with a like and let me know in the comments if you want to learn about any ai tools and i would do a tutorial on that so we'll meet again pretty soon with some other tutorials until then please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money on Online. and if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet what are you waiting for please go ahead and subscribe to this channel because in this channel you get this kind of videos that can help you grow so with that being said it's your good friend Shine signing off we'll meet again on the next one until then take care of yourself and your families bye bye